Well, the Shasta Early Literacy Partnership started in 2009, and it was a, basically a grassroots effort, effort born with the Rotarians locally and a bunch of community agencies that got together and realized that half of our kids are entering kindergarten unprepared, basically. So they're not coming in with those essential early literacy skills. Um, and really, when kids come in unprepared, it's nearly impossible to help them catch up once they enter school. The research is very clear that when you're teaching kids to read, it starts really at birth um, by just introducing them to the concept of books and teaching children that books are important, um, that it's a good opportunity for parents to have quality time with their children. First Five Shasta um, has funded a three-year initiative with SELP. Um, it's our focused investment grant, and basically that's allowed us to organize SELP in a collective impact model. So all of the other agencies in town that are out touching children and touching families and doing those direct services, we're bringing them into the fold and saying, okay, what are we doing that's working? Um, how can we replicate the things that are working in other areas? How can we really reach those unmet pockets of children and, for example, low-income communities? Our main focus is on making sure that all parents and caregivers know how important it is to read to kids every day for 20 minutes, at least 20 minutes a day. Um, so starting from birth up until the kids are reading on their own, and even once kids start to read on their own, it's still important for parents to sit down once in a while and read together with your children. The other initiatives that we've supported is Little Free Libraries, uh, which really helps improve access to books for young children. So if you don't live close to the library, chances are you probably live close to a Little Free Library like this. Uh, so kids have access to bring a book, take a book, um, and it's a free honor system library. So these are, we have about 50 of them throughout Shasta County and they're expanding kind of organically. Take 10 Do It Again, which is a semi-annual event where we bring in local leaders into classrooms or preschool centers and have them read a book with the children at the, at the site. Children see that it's not just a teacher issue or a family issue, it's not just something that's important to that close little circle, it's something that our community really values. What we want to see in Shasta County is that all of our kids are coming to kindergarten ready to learn. And we want to see the kindergarten readiness assessment show us that kids are coming in ready to learn. We want to see the third grade reading scores um, all of our kids reading at grade level by third grade is ultimately where we want to be. I feel like we have the silver bullet to really fix this problem and it's just reading and it's really simple. You don't have to be a, you know, a rocket scientist parent to raise a rocket scientist child. And so that to me is really empowering as a parent to know that um, even if I wasn't super smart as a kid or I struggled in school, I have what's necessary to make my kids successful and that's just time, love and reading to them.